looking at our last lesson, lesson number two, you know, we got to realize that there is a tempo when you need a time from the pitcher's delivery in the game. And we also learn that there's a common denominator amongst every single pitcher that we need to take into account and we got to mesh ourselves into as hitters to get ourselves ready to hit during the game. In batting practice, I've learned through the years of doing all kind of, you know, warm-ups from batting tee to flips to swinging the bat against the fence or the wall. There's nothing in places live batting practice over the top. You know, I believe there is value to doing flips. You know, you just get your body warmed up before the game and you're doing some movement. You know, helps helping your, your, your swing action, swing mechanics. But before the game, you know, what you want to really warm up is in the, the patterns inside the brain, where the brain sees the movement from over the top. You know, it's over the top where the, um, the common denominator is for every single pitcher. It's critically important, especially before the game, to see this. I'm not going to tell you exactly what the common denominator is and give you the details. It's inside our video series. But, you know, I just want to encourage you as coaches, you know, when you're helping your players out, and give them the best, if you can, to throw over the top. You know, every time we swing the bat, you know, people want to get into muscle memory. You know, when you talk to someone who's, who's medically in touch with, uh, with baseball and, and, and inside their career, they'll tell you, you know, and it told me, Dave, there is no muscle memory, okay? All the memory comes from the brain. So if you're rationing this all out, that every time you perform a movement or you perform a pattern, you know, the brain is the one that remembers, well, this is how we're going to do it. Every time you swing the bat, the brain is receiving, well, is this how we're going to make this pattern happen? And if that pattern includes an underhand flip, especially before the game, it's, it's counter to what you want to do as a hitter because everything is happening above where the shoulders are and where the elbow is. And, you know, you want that brain to see that pattern, especially before the game. You want to see that pattern because every time your brain reacts to it or, or is countering it, it, it's, a, it's a step closer to remembering, well, well, this is how I react to that movement or that speed or that angle. As I was making my rounds to the complex and reporting on different players I was assigned to, uh, to watch and report on, I came across a good team called the Bambitos. And before the game, I was watching some batting practice. And strikingly enough, there was a mom inside the batting cage doing BP. And who was it other than Jill Wolforth, Ron Wolforth's wife, Garrett Wolforth's mom. Impressively, she is throwing batting practice to the entire team. And from someone who throws batting practice myself virtually every day of the week, I was utterly impressed by her endurance, her arm action, the whole, the whole gamut. You know, and she just wasn't giving every player, you know, five pitches and out, ten pitches and out. I mean, maybe every player got 18 to 20 pitches. Amazingly. And she threw it to the whole team. So I just want to tip my cap to Jill Wolforth and uh, Ron Wolforth, um, pitching guru. He, You can Google him, look him up online. His website is the Texas Baseball Ranch. Dot com does wonderful things for you know, pitchers and position players with their arms and is a testimony is that his own son has a great throwing arm. But I just want to tip my cap to Jill Wolforth. So this is my personal opinion about soft toss, underhand flips. You know, I play primarily during the 70s and the 80s, and I just don't remember ever getting underhand flips. You know, it was probably in the late 90s or in the early 2000s that it started becoming popular. And I remember uh, players um, um, saying, well, this, hey, this is what's going on in minor league baseball, pro baseball. You know, and as I probed and talked to uh, some friends who were involved, you know, it comes down to this. You know, when you got a hitting coach for uh, a minor league team and he's got to, to throw to, 
you know, 13, 14 batters in a lineup, and it does it every day, you know, between two or three guys, it gets exhausting. It is killer to throw batting practice over the top. So, remedy, shortcut. You know what, let's just give these guys some, some, uh, some swings, some cuts. I'll sit on a chair, I'll sit on a bucket, I'll stand up, I'll just give it a little underhand toss. Let them get a, a moving object coming in the same direction as a baseball. Henceforth, just soft toss drill. And so, since we see the pro game uh, executing this, we, you know, in the amateur side of college baseball, high school baseball, they, well, we reason this out. Well, if it's good for the pros, players, then, hey, it must be, it'll be good for us, too. And so we dive in. And um, so that's what we got. Just because the pro guys are doing it doesn't make it best for everybody else. You know, these pro guys, these pro instructors, roving hitting coaches, what have you, they're getting after it at March, beginning of March. And they're going virtually almost every day throwing batting practice to about the end of August. It is exhausting. It's grueling. And it, it, it it's taxing on your body. So why wouldn't they try to find a shortcut and then reason it out, you know, to give them the hitters something to work on? So I just want to end this last lesson with the common denominator. You know, if you get the video series, you'll see that every single pitcher has this. And this is where you base your timing upon. It's, it's from the upper body. You know, when you're looking out at the pitcher, Okay, we're not looking below the, the belt line for a ball to be tossed at us. It's up above. And the more often you do it from up above, the more you're going to be helping the hitters to start shaping their patterns of their timing and their timing elements. I'm Dave Kirilov.